All right, <clears throat> we're back here on a job that uh, the last video I showed the finish work, so it was unfinished here, and then I started wire brushing it. Uh, today, what I want to talk to you about is uh, screw-ups and having a standard. So I came back today to work on this, finish it up, um, and, I, and as soon as I got here, I could see this color was very, very dark. And I'm not sure exactly why that is. Uh, I did dry it out, and it was drying uh, to what I thought would be a good color. Now, it could be because I struck it. You know, maybe striking it pulled the color that was in it to the surface. We've got uh, dark chocolate in it. We've got um, dark buff. But we made it, I made it kind of a, a lighter mix um, to try to blend in. So anyway, I come back today and I see this. Now, the reality is I could probably continue grinding with the same mud, wrap this job up, collect money and walk away. A customer would just be like, well, that's, you know, I mean, they don't really look, they don't really care, they don't, whatever. You know, could be this, could be that. Could be a hard customer, could be an easy customer. So I think the reason that having an, uh, a standard of how you do things is important is because it takes all of that stuff out of the equation. So I used to work for an old stonemason and I had gone off and I was doing one of my own projects and I was building a column, a couple of big columns that needed scaffold because they were really big. And I had built one up the first day, maybe halfway or so. And, but it didn't, it didn't seem right. It wasn't the right size. It wasn't, it, it just had problems. And I was still learning how to do level work with, and level work's different than pulling a line that you have some sort of guide to go to. Level work is really using a level in all directions, keeping things square, keep, keep, keeping them within a certain distance and so on. Um, this, and I, I had called him and I said, you know, this is what's going on and what do you think? And he said, you know, if you have to ask, you already know the answer. And he wasn't trying to be a dick, but he, you know, he's kind of laughing when he said it. And I already knew, I already knew the answer. The answer was take it back down, start over, get it right and build it back up. Um, so I come here today, it's not convenient to have to grind out things. I've already grouted, you know, ground them, grouted, finished, walked away. You know, all I should be doing is washing now. So in the reality, the little amount I've got here, maybe it's going to push me an hour, but it's definitely going to push my day, which means the, the other thing I was going to try to do today is getting pushed. I had to call that customer, hey, I'm jammed. It's going to be tomorrow, not today. And, you know, as a contractor, I don't want to make that phone call. Nobody does. Um, but that's the reality. Um, now, the other thing is I charge enough for what I do. Uh, so that, I mean, not all the time so that I'm going to screw it up, but just look, if, if you charge a fair amount to spend the time with somebody's house and fix it right, you know, it takes more money and more time than I, more money than I, more time than I think and more money than the customers think, usually, I think. Um, but, you know, if you're going to do it right, it usually takes more time than the guys that are showing up saying, yeah, I'll do it all for 500 bucks, you know. Um, so, and this is one where... I'm here to replace six brick. Well, there's 13 brick, you know. So, okay, it's gonna push a little bit. I don't need to go back to my customer and say, hey, it's 13 brick, that's gonna be this much extra. I mean, I could, and I think the guy would be okay with that, but I don't really like to do that. So, one of my standards is like, you know, if I give people a price, I try to stick to that and not have to come back and talk to them again. If it's something out of my control, hey, look, oh, you know, this is a problem, we gotta deal with it. Okay, we'll do that. So, um, I feel like we've hit a time, I don't know if it's in this country or the world at large, where everybody's just looking for a way out. So, you know, and I think that's the problem we have with corporations is like, you just get locked into something where you can't ever get any resolve. And on my level, what, what I'm doing here, I don't have to do that to people. I can just simply go, you know what, I don't like it. It's not right. I have to drive by here to more or less major street through this neighborhood that I work in. And I'm going to look at this every time I come by and it'll drive me crazy. So I'm going to grind it out. I've already cut the color down. I'm back to laying the brick on the side of the house again. And I'll just cut this out and, and redo it. And that'll be the day to day. Um, so thanks for watching. I don't, you know, Part of the reason I'm shooting videos is, is partly to talk to people, I think, and to say, hey, you know what, times are tough. 
it's tough for me too. And all you can do is get up and go to work. Uh, and if you don't have a job, find people you can help. If you can help anybody, help anybody. Clean your toilet, walk, clean your house, do something. Stay productive. Don't just sit and eat and watch TV. Do something. And if you can do something for other people, always look for that opportunity. Um, when I pulled in here today, this is a minor thing. I pulled in first and the landscape guy pulled in second and he was going to the house over and I'm working right here. So I got out and I was like, hey, you know, he's got a trailer and he's got to get stuff out. Hey man, do you want me to move? I'll trade spots with you. And he was like, that would be great. And that just saved that guy a lot of time because he's going to have to jump the curbs with these big machines and it was going to be a headache. And, you know, have his ramp down by the intersection where people are turning. It's, you know, so looking for those opportunities is, makes your day better. You know, if you can help anybody, say hi to somebody, ask them how their day is, thank them for stuff. Yeah, it's their job. Fuck, you just, hey, thank you. Thanks for doing what you do. So I'll grind this out, get back to work, shoot a video on how it looks when it's finished and it hopefully blends in better. Thanks.